obviously Lawrence Fox is, you know, maybe not the biggest fan of people that look like me. Obviously. Maybe. Maybe Lawrence Fox is the UK's version of fucking Nick Fuentes and shit, right? Maybe. Maybe. Even though he has a, you know, he has a taste for the uh, racially ambiguous women out there. Even though he doesn't like people that look like me. You know, he likes the other non-whites himself. But let's just say about that the better. Even though this tweet isn't meant to be a tweet to encourage <laughs> people like me to go to these type of events, I still think it's important to highlight. Lawrence Fox tweeted this, this following. Next year, let's have a British carnival, a celebration of being British. DM me and let's get this show on the road. Everyone is invited. Black, brown, yellow or white, but British. Let's do that next year. It'll be fun, generally inclusive, a great British carnival. You know what's really funny? We should have more of that. That's the ironic thing. Even though he's probably being a little bit racist, and even though he probably wouldn't want people like me to go there, we probably do need way more of these outdoor, open-air celebration type things that we, I feel like, had in the past. And I feel like I'm speaking off of the... I'm making things up as I go along. But I swear there was a time in the UK, especially maybe after World War Two or maybe after even World War One, where to kind of, you know, get the morale of the country up, we had these sort of like street things where people would like sit outside and share food amongst neighbours and just party and have a good time. And I think that was a standard thing in the UK, especially outside of London. People, small towns, people would kind of like, you know, congregate outside. They want to take the kids' minds off of the war and the bombs dropping all over the place. And people would be playing outside, having a good time, sharing food, sharing drinks, having the vibes. But for some reason, that sort of tradition kind of died out. And the only thing that that's left of a in a, in that sort of ilk, in that carnival ilk, is not an ill carnival. That's the only thing. But if you're a, you know, stringent, I'm English, not British type of person, if you're a fan of the BNP, if you're a Mill supporter and shit, you're probably not the biggest fan of carnival. You probably want your version of it, where you can kind of go get a packet, you know, finger bang some bartender, drink some pints, maybe beat some guy up on the street. Maybe he's brown, maybe he's not. You want that sort of event. So maybe you need your own event too. Maybe that's what's necessary. Maybe we need every sort of like racial makeup in London to have ability to have their own carnival so that they will stop hating on knowing your carnival. Maybe if we give everybody a carnival, there'll be less pressure and less attention, less negativity put on Nottingham Carnival because maybe some of these non-blacks and some of these non-Caribbean people look at Nottingham Carnival with a bit of jealousy, which I understand why, because there's not a lot of times in London where you can have like outdoor fun for free. So they look at you and think, hold on, why did the blacks, why did the blacks get to do this little fun thing and celebrate, have a good time and drink and be all jovial and whatever maybe, but us whites, the people who have built this country, the people whose country this belongs to, we don't get to do that outside, you know? Because if they go and, you know, if, if, if some of the football lads are a bit too loud and wrong bunctious outside, the police will come around and tell them to settle down. They can't exactly be sitting on the streets and be drinking pints of beer and be loud. They'll be told to move away. So I see their frustration. So maybe the solution might be, might be to give every racial demographic their own carnival. Hey, this is your carnival. This is your day to do what you want to do, whether it's beat your wife in the streets, whether it's kick your dogs in front of people, whatever you need to do, you can do it on this particular day. And then when the other people with the other segment of the, well, you know, the other minorities in the world do they, they, what they want to do, you don't then chastise them because you've got your day. That's what we need to do. So Lawrence Fox might be onto something. Maybe everybody needs their own carnival. Maybe that's what's actually necessary. Maybe everyone is on carnival. It's all like similar when like you're when you're young and your parents are buying you and your siblings the same clothes. Maybe there comes a times where you're like, you know what? I need my own clothes. I don't care if it's a crappier hoodie compared to my brother or sister, but I need my own hoodie that they don't have. So there's no there's no confusion. So I have my hoodie, they have their hoodie, and we can live our separate lives. And if we want to bicker between each other, we can. But there's none of this kind of, oh, you took mine, no, you took mine. No, 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 no. They're both different. One's blue, one's black, one's yellow, one's red, one's white, one's brown, right? And then we go on from there. Maybe that's what's necessary. Maybe. Will it happen? Probably not. But I'd like to see it happen. Like some sort of like, I don't know, British Day, UK Day, GBR Day, right? BMP Day, NF Day, you know? That would be fucking sick. That would be sick. That would be absolutely hilarious. I would love it. I would love it. I would absolutely 
guess what yes you guessed it love it love it love it